All right, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a video game or pinball or any kind of arcade related video. So I wanted to show you guys what I got recently. This is a uh, dedicated Killer Instinct cabinet that was completely gutted and painted black on both sides, front and back. So what I've done is, um, I, the guy I bought it from, he said he had all the parts uh, internally, so I'm waiting for him to get back to me on what he has, including the control panel monitor, bezel, glass, marquee. I mean, it, the complete cabinet was completely gutted save for the little coin slot and the plate on there. I just put those monitor brackets back on. Uh, but other than that, it's been completely torn down. Um, I had a set of Game On Graphics, Killer Instinct, um, side art, as well as the control panel and control panel sides in front that um, have been sitting in this tube for I mean, I don't know, probably like two or three years, and I uh, decided that I was just going to turn this into a Killer Instinct, since it is a Killer Instinct cabinet, and try the side decals to see what they look like. So, without further ado, here's this side here. And the other side here, I'll kind of swing it out. I'm going to get an idea of what it looks like. I think it turned out fairly well. Um, you know, the decals I think are, are, in, are a fair representation of what the actual cabinet looks like. Um, if you put my real one out here next to it, which I probably should have done before the video, just too much trouble to get that thing in and out of the house. Um, I think that this one is a little less vibrant in colors, but um, it did fit fairly well. I had a little bit of an issue on one side. This side seemed to be a little bit shorter. Um, as you can see, there's a little tiny gap right here of about an eighth of an inch here that um, it didn't cover. And then on this side right here, for some reason, it was cut here as well. So not really sure what happened there uh, when he printed them, but um, not a huge deal, but you know, I mean, you can see a little gap there and that little tiny gap up here. On this side, there was plenty of, of decal to go all the way around. Um, as you can see, there's no gaps or, or any visible uh, background there, so. I don't know what to say about it. It looks pretty good. Um, I, I'm not going to keep it, so if somebody wants it, you know, shoot me an offer. I'll, I'll, I'm going to turn this back into a Killer Instinct, obviously, with all the artwork and everything. It looks pretty good. There's really no bubbling anywhere if you look at it from here. Uh, one issue I've had before in the past with applying decals is you get a lot of bubbles um, and any kind of imperfections in the cabinet, like this tiny little piece of wood right here. Um, you can kind of run your finger over and feel it, but from a distance of about two feet, it looks absolutely stunningly perfect. So, um... You know, if you're going to nitpick things, you're going to nitpick things. But, you know, as this side, you can see, you know, pretty clean. You know, this is the back of the cabinet right here where you can see maybe there was like a little bit of a piece of wood sticking up. Um, but, I mean, it's pretty nice. They clean up well. You can see a tiny little right there, like a little bit of something right there. But uh, overall, pretty nice. Um, got a lot of parts to get. I'll kind of show you this coin door and the the other slot, a bunch of shit in there from the um, coin door and this is the little button when you open the door and open and close it. Um, what else? There's a bunch of parts that really need to be collected from him uh, and then kind of put all back in. And to give you an idea, there's nothing in here. No isolation transformer, no power supply, no JAMA harness, no wires, no light fixture. I mean, the on-off switch is still there, but the wires that plug into there are not there. Um, <clears throat> even the handles on the back, I had those, I just put those back in. So this this is going to be an ongoing project for probably the next month um, until I get all those parts. And then I'm going to have to track down a Killer Instinct board, which I've had many of them in the past. Probably should have kept one, but it is what it is. And um, I think it turned out pretty good. And then the other thing I did is um, your MK Arcade Source burned these... Mortal Kombat 2 Complete Edition ROMs, or uh, he, he and this other guy developed this game, so I burned a set of the ROMs and I wanted to show you what they do. Let's close the garage here so we can see. This is a uh, MK2 board. I've been having trouble with this one. It resets every once in a while, so be patient. Let's see what happens. So we'll just skip this here. 
You can see Ultimate MK2 Tournament Edition, which is pretty cool. So we can go into the menu, we add credits here in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 2 Tournament Edition. I put it on free play. And it's only two ROMs, uh, UG and UG12. And I really haven't figured out what this does yet um, as far as all the changes that they've done, but um, it does play. And I, you know, as you can see, I don't have two players set up here to play, but um, I just wanted to try the game out and see what it, what it looks like, and it works. So um, maybe, maybe at a later point I'll put these ROMs in my own personal game here and see how they play. But um, if anybody's interested in, you know, let me know. I can always send you a set of ROMs. There's only two chips. So that's that. And then over here I have a Street Fighter board. I have a couple of them. This is from my working unit inside. This is the top piece. So this would be your C board. Let's turn the light on. Those of you who don't know Street Fighter games, um, there's three pieces. There's the motherboard, which is this bottom part here. There's a B board, which is this piece right here. And that plugs into the motherboard right here. And then there's a C board, which is the top part, and that plugs into these four ports right there. Um, so this one I got it. Um, it had this other C board right here. And as you can see, it's the same thing. But it's missing a chip, and I've swapped the chip from here to there, and I get graphics issues. So there's something wrong with this. Um, so I need a new one of this, or a replacement out of this uh, from a working unit, um, and the and the game works great. And then I have that other one in there, <clears throat> which is a World Warrior game, which is Street Fighter II, but just not the Champion Edition. And you can see the difference just in the C board right here. And that one, how different it is. There's two little, um, uh, two of these little chips here. On that one, there's only one there. Um, there's, you know, the little white piece that goes over the top to cover it. But um, this one, it's missing ROMs 18 and 19 right there. And then for some reason, when I swap them out, it works fine for about five seconds and then resets. I've tested everything, everything works good. It's got the correct A, B, and C boards, but uh, it just doesn't want to get past the initial boot screen so there's something going on with that i haven't figured it out so some projects here for the winter um you know it's getting chilly here in las vegas it's all of about 55 degrees which is cold for here so i wanted something to do for the winter um, i tried to get a full working cabinet from the guy that i get him from here but he hasn't had anything in a long time and um he had this one sitting there and i saw the killer instinct sticker on it and when i got it home i tried to strip it and i think whoever whoever had this game took the decals off, like literally peeled the both of the decals off both sides and then painted it, rolled it with black paint because I tried to strip it and it went right down to the wood. So they they took both decals off both sides. So I figured I'd bring it back to life. Um, I had these sitting around for like a couple of years and it looks pretty damn nice. I mean, I, I can't say that these decals look like shit because they look pretty damn nice. Um, I'm not going to keep this because I have a dedicated one inside, but what I'll do is put it all together and then if somebody's interested in buying it, you can always shoot me an email, we can go from there. So uh, this will be part one. This would be getting the empty, completely uh, cabinet that's completely uh, emptied out with the decals on. And then part two will be where I add all the internal wires, isolation, transformer, power supply, glass, bezel, all the shit in here. Hopefully a control panel that I can use. Um, and then we'll go on to the artwork of the Control panel for the sides, front, top, uh, joysticks, buttons, wiring it all up and getting a PCB and hopefully a monitor that works. So that will be down the road. So a little something for me to do. Um, still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this here. This I was going to do like a little mini Gauntlet Legends. Um, and I just don't like the way Gauntlet Legends looks in low resolution. Um, then I bought another monitor on the KLOV forums, a little 13 inch. I was going to replace that there. Uh, but I kind of like these. I was going to maybe do something else with a second one. As you can see, the other one's in there. So... Kind of a lot of projects go on, which is nice. I sold my Monster Bash, um, just never really played it. It was cool, I got my use out of it. Uh, and the Black Spider-Man, which was here, that's gone as well. Um, you know, those were two pretty valuable games that I got a lot of money for, so pretty happy about that. Um, and that's about it. So I'll make a couple of videos here in the near future, hopefully updating this, and maybe I'll get those Street Fighter boards working. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.